Good evening to you all. This is London a calling. My name is Councillor Richard Barnbrook. I'm the leader of the opposition on Barking Dagenham's Council for the British National Party and your mayoral candidate for next year's elections. Now it seems there's a new buzzword going around London town. The new renaissance doesn't have to smack of new labour. When I was at school and at university, the term renaissance meant uplifting, enlightenment, enrichment of a positive type, an idea of education standards being high, an idea of a community that you could live in and have pride and uplift about it, a nation that moves forward, not backwards. So this new renaissance seems to me to be more of a smack of the dark ages, no pun intended, with crime spiralling out of control, education being dumbed down, the NHS on its knees, our environment falling apart, new business halted. This isn't a renaissance, this is a bad environment. And the people to blame for this, or maybe there's many, Livingstone it starts with, and this, in, this idea of enrichment, multicultural, enlightenment, is simply not the case. As immigration goes up, law and order goes down, crime goes up, the police have their hands tied behind their back, unable to enact the forcement they have to keep our society good, working forward and safe. So how dare Labour entitle this new development of the last five years in London as a renaissance? It's ludicrous. I'm going to talk about crime here now and the effect it has on individuals and how that individual case I'm about to mention ripples all the way across this country from the north to the south and also here in London. Last week, a good friend of mine a very close friend, was burgled at knife point. I would prefer that she stands here to this camera talking to you about her ordeal, but her mouth has been quiet and she's been told to shut up about it. That person is Simone Clark, the ballerina. She returned to London after opening in Oxford last week to stay at a friend of, her, friend of hers in a mansion house two stories up. When she went to sleep, quiet to all things around her, she was drastically woken up at 6.30 in the morning to the sound of smashing glass. She went next door from the bedroom she was in to see what was going on. And through a small hole broken in the window, an East European descent male climbed through with a knife in one hand. Simone returned to the bedroom she was staying in, got her belongings, climbed into the wardrobe and locked herself in. Locked herself in a wardrobe in wealthy Kensington Olympia. This is madness. A couple of seconds later, the door opened to the bedroom she was in. The light went on, and while searching around the room, the knife person opened the wardrobe and thrust the knife into Simone's face, grunting, give me your things and don't leave here. Frightened, Simone passed over her belongings and stayed in the wardrobe until she heard, a couple of minutes later, the door, the front door, slam. Her neighbour slept all the way through it. The police are now dealing with this, undermanned and overstretched. They're doing their best. So how can we call the movement in London a renaissance? Ken Livingstone, Wake up to the nonsense you have left London in. You should be embarrassed to even think that what is going through London now is a renaissance. There is only one way forward for London, and that is next year, by voting for the British National Party, which will truly create a new renaissance, a proper vision for Londoners, or every single person in this city. That will be something to look forward to.